Now, I don't intend to pick on Paul, but he said I could use his name. I said, Paul, how long have you been involved with me now? And we decided it was about a year. And I said, Paul, you could have a thousand videos on YouTube by now. A thousand. He doesn't. But if you followed my instructions, you'd have 500 to a thousand videos. What do you put on those videos? You put on, you're a storyteller. You put on the the happiness and the drills and the sweat and the camaraderie and the fun and the answers and the philosophy. You just get good at telling your story. You don't do crass junk. You don't do things that parents would object to. Let me tell you, you record these kids and your students, they don't even know yet how powerful those videos are gonna be in the future. And someday you're going to be teaching your students to document their own journey and that stuff will be more valuable than diamonds. At the same time, it's the description of a video, it's the stuff you write in your blog, it's using that video to tell stories, to describe it so that people can find you online. The internet is the new phone book. Okay, now let me just say this one more time. Five to ten acts of marketing, that's per person in your school, ideally. And yes, it takes a while to get, it takes a while to get a black belt in jujitsu too, so just go to it, you'll get it. It'll become who you are. Five to 10 acts of marketing, which is storytelling, which is talking about other people in your community. It's about the counselor who does amazing work. It's about the dad who's raising these kids. It's giving people kudos. It's talking about current events. It's showing what's going on and what you're working on and what you care about. It's a constant communication because you're only going to reach somebody with one of those videos. They're not going to sit there and watch 500. And who cares that nobody else does it? You do it because every one of those videos, every blog post is a, like a paid advertisement. And it's real, right? And it forces you to look deeply at what you're doing. It's an added benefit. Five to 10 acts of marketing, 20 working days every day of the year that you work for the purpose of getting three solid leads. If you're a salesperson, if you work for a school, if you're going to be an owner and you can't get three leads and you live in a town of a hundred or 200 or 300,000 people, you might have to go get a job.